Hello Urban Adventures, welcome to another episode. Today we are here in uh, north central Minnesota and uh, there's actually plenty of ice up here compared to the metro cities. There's about 20 to 22 inches of ice and we are driving full-size trucks out here. There's a lot of uh, permanent shacks out here. There's a beautiful lake. Just look at the surroundings. Real beautiful lake right here. And today we're going after, well, hopefully slabs. Hopefully we get some slab crappies for you guys. It's actually pretty chilly, probably in the teens today. So we'll see what we can do, but stay tuned. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And let's go fishing. Bam, look at that guys. Heck yeah, finally. Finally guys, Woo this is going on the board. <laughs> right, no, this at the uh this at the Copeya. Hopefully we get some more. Yeah the the bluegills are active now too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh really? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Good. Oh, big crappie! Big crappie! Yeah. There he goes. Nice. Wow, that's got to be close to uh, maybe 12, 12 and a half, maybe. Something like that, maybe. Very nice. Right off the spoon, too. Nice. You got that measuring? Thing? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's outside. Oh, it's outside. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. This is only ten and a quarter. Look how big these slabs are, man. They're huge, fat, thick. All right, we're gonna let this one go. Catch and release. Let them grow. It's a bit let too go. small. Let them go, let them grow. <laughs> there he goes. There you go. Oh yeah, let's go catch some more, guys. All right, guys, we got another one. This one feels nice, too. Oh, it's a nice crappie. Oh, yes. Woo. There you go, guys. Bam. Right on the hip floor, guys. Look at that one. Holy cow. Right here. This is the hit lower. This is a hit lower. Ultra finesse rod. Nice big fat crappie. Right here, guys. This is the glow green diamond pick right here. Let me get it out of its mouth for you. Look at that. Right here. Wow. Beautiful fish. Let's get it on the board. 12. Look at that. 12 and a quarter, guys. Northern Minnesota. 12 and a quarter. Beautiful fish. Wow. Uh oh, <laughs> we lost the generator. I think I my flashlight. <clears throat> what I'm basically doing right now, I'm just uh, jigging it up and down just to create some vibration, hopefully bringing them in. Night time like this, you kind of want to create some vibration. The fish have these lateral lines that they can feel vibration. So you want to wiggle it like this and hopefully bring them in. Create as much vibration just to bring it in. But once it gets in, then you have to change your techniques. I notice on this lake is when they come in singly like this, it's usually big crappies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Yeah, got him, yeah. got him. Got ooh, barely too though. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. Right off the Hitlers again, guys. Let's take a quick measurement of this one. <laughs> Nine and a half. Not the biggest, but it's okay. One, one quick last look. 
one quick last look and back down the hole there it is wait come on there he goes oh oh, oh yeah there he goes there he goes got him oh this one feels nice oh this one's running this one's probably sunny Yeah, this is probably a sunny. Look at that, guys. Oh, it's a crappie. <laughs> no crappies, yeah. It was running in a circle. It's like a sunny, though. Yeah, yeah that. Nice. Nine and three quarter. Nine and three quarter, guys. All right, this one goes back in a drink. Got him. Oh, yeah, got him. <laughs> Finally. Oh, it's, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Nice crappie. Oh, oh shoot, it came off. Came off? No, still there. Is it? Oh, oh, no, it came off. Oh, man. So, I know, uh, J. Taje. Yeah. I want to know, uh, <laughs> yeah, because my minute was still below him. Yeah, because he came and took the sinker. I'm going to have to start putting hooks on the sinkers. <laughs> what the heck? That was so weird. Yeah, guys, on the last scope, you can see... You can see the sinker, and then you can see my minnow beneath. Yeah. But it came and bit the sinker instead. And the minnow came off, so... But these these fish sometimes are, are really weird like that. So I think I'm going to have to start putting hooks on split shots or something, and maybe we'll get them that way, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, was that was that. <laughs> it felt good, too, though. <laughs> That was probably uh, a pike in the 30s, too. Yeah. Man. Oh, well. That's why it's called fishing. <laughs> we got another big fish on, guys. All right, guys. We got a surprise fish. Oh. Oh, it's... I just saw it, too. Yep. Surprise fish. Oh. oh. Big mark on the line scope. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, man! That's Finally, uh, oh, look at that! Fish down there all morning. <laughs> Finally, took in the hook too, and a uh, good thing it didn't break my line. We just got ourselves a northern, 23 and a half inches, beautiful, beautiful fish. Very slimy, real stinky, but we're gonna let this one go. Unfortunately, this is not the size that we can keep here in northern Minnesota. So there he goes. This is gonna be a good pickle pike, but I guess we're gonna have to catch a smaller one. So, all right. Let's go catch another one. Put him on the lights, go. <laughs> Disappeared. Disappeared. Very slimy, real slimy fish, guys. Mm, smells good too. Today's menu is beef fajitas without no tortillas. So this is already pre-seasoned beef, sliced, sliced beef, and it's already got the fajita flavoring. And the meat, it's, it's kind of frozen. We kind of left it out in the cold, so they're, fro they're frozen. But uh, just throw them in some oil like this, and eventually they'll melt. And then uh, he's just start cooking them up. Nothing beats fresh cooked meal during ice fishing. So guys, when we go ice fishing, we don't have specific recipes. Pretty much uh, just like a jambalaya. 
just throw whatever in. So we got beef fajita flavored Mexican style beef with uh, red and yellow peppers. And then I just threw in some of these uh, beef, whatever you call this, kielbasas. And it's gonna be delicious. All the while watching the live scope. <laughs> oh yeah. That looks pretty good. Alright, this should be ready. Since this is a lot, I'm just gonna have to do two plates. Professional amateurs. Oh yeah, that's hot. The best way to prepare this for the next Next cooking, let's take some clean paper towel. When you're out in the woods like this, you just gotta do what you got. That's good to go. And now in goes the oil. Since there's only a few crappie fillets, we don't need much oil. Just about that much. And these are the Manitonka fillets right here. Nicely thawed out. Look at that. So these crappies were from, I think, last week's. Just fillet them. And then I just uh, freeze them. And then when you're ready to cook them, just uh, thaw them and then bread them and cook them. Nothing beats this, guys. Out here enjoying uh, your time with uh, family, friends. This is a bumblebee, bumblebee fishing right here. My, one of my cousins. Trying to catch fish. Trying to catch fish. <laughs> fishing has been pretty tough, but uh, you, there's all these fish down there, but no, nothing wants to bite. And outside it's about 10, 15 degrees, and it's super cold to be hole hopping. Petite, everyone. Almost fresh Minnetonka crappies and some uh, fajita beef with kielbasas. Stir fry. Yum. How's breakfast, B? Delicious. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Breakfast mixed with lunch. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yep, brunch. Brunch without no breakfast. Got him, got him. Doesn't feel too bad. Oh, there he goes. Wow, look at this guy. Another big, beautiful fish right here. Wow. Let's get him in the sun. Beautiful. Bring up my tape measure. Let's go get my tape measure. Eight and a eight and a quarter. Yeah, a lot, a lot, Man, beautiful. Oh, another one. Another good size one here, guys. So we get it out without moving the live scope. Look at that, another fat mama. Beautiful fish, guys. Wow. There he goes. There it comes. There he goes, got him. This one feels really nice. Oh, another nice one. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful sunnies. Come on, buddy. I need my grub back. 
Look at that. And held it. Beautiful sunny. Let's let this one go. Alright, what have we got here? <laughs> was that a big mark or? Yeah, it was a big mark, man. Oh, possible Norland, guys. Oh! oh. Ah, damn. Oh, man, that was a big one. Look at this surprise catch, guys. Rock bass. Wow. Yeah, there's like three marks up in there. I think the other one might be a rock bass too, the one that uh, earlier that broke the line. You think so? I think so. It might be. I don't know. It's got. It, it, it was a big long mark just like this. Wow! Look at that. Beautiful fish. Nice. Wow. <laughs> we finally got some hole hopping in today. It actually warmed up a little bit, right around uh, probably around 10, 11 o'clock in. So we were able to get in some hole hopping, which was which was pretty nice. And just look out how beautiful it is today. Nice, calm, very little wind today, which is which is a huge plus. But we are ready to pack it up, call it a night, call it a day. Sun's coming down now. And I don't know how much beer we're gonna I'm gonna put in. Because there's a lot of small fish, a lot of small fish, nothing too exciting. So maybe I'll throw some in for you guys to, see, to watch and some of the techniques that were used. But all in all, thanks to my cousin for joining me. Make sure you guys go check him out on Facebook, Bone Weed Fishing. And you know, see you on the next video. As always, follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen, guys. Catch you guys later. Thank you.